Hey everyone, this is Jesse with Dream.com. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to do a little bit of JSON, and that stands for JavaScript Object Notation. If you go to JSON.org, uh, you'll see kind of how it looks. Uh, it might look a little confusing right now, uh, but when we type it out, hopefully it'll make sense uh, with all these little shapes and stuff. Okay, so anyways, uh, I'm going to be using a database uh, for one of these examples. So what you're going to want to do is just go to my site and then go to lab and go to open source. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to, and then the MySQLi class, and I'll just grab this. And in my file, I'll just paste it in there. And I'm going to make a new folder and call it libs and I'll just call this mysqli.class.php okay so we have that and um, we have our basic document here with uh, jQuery included the document.ready and below there's not really anything uh, okay so <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is just um, load uh, the JSON uh, value, values, but well, let's see. Let's just first create a div ID equals content, and um, let's do a dot get JSON. Okay, <clears throat> this is what we're going to use, and we specify the page, and let's just call this uh, load JSON dot PHP, and the callback function. and we want to put the JSON data inside content okay we'll just leave it like that for now uh, now I'm gonna make a new file and I'm gonna call this one load JSON PHP and in this file um, we're gonna include um, libs mysqli.class.php and uh, we'll just uh, set up the configuration array so I'll say config equals array um, config if you have a different way of doing your mysql or connection uh, go ahead and do it that way and um, let's see Post user pass table roots, no password, and I'll create a table called jQuery. Okay, and then I'll just do db equals new db config and db query and db get. Yeah. Okay, let me create the table. I'm just going to do it in PHP my admin, and I'll call it jQuery and I'll create a table I'll just call it pages with uh, three fields uh, field one I'll just make an integer uh, auto increment and the primary index the second one I'll call title and the third one I'll call uh, content and for this just var care 255 and I'll just go with that sorry I'll save it okay so we have this structure pretty simple uh, I'm gonna insert just a couple things in it I'll just say Jesse test content Joe test content okay so we browse and here's what we have just a simple table um, I can close that so we have this now we're going to say select um, star from uh, pages okay. and we want to output DB get I'm gonna reload this file so I can get the colors working there we go um, so on index we're just doing load JSON and let's also do um, a little log let's just say div class equals log 
and we'll say dot log dot uh, HTML and just say thing was called just so we know that it's doing something so refresh and let's see workspace jQuery uh, what did I do wrong here alright so what we need to do is encode uh, the output as JSON so um, JSON encode and um, let's go to loadjson.php and this is how it comes out um, these square brackets are in our in uh, an array and this would be the first item and this would be the second item in these little um, squiggly brackets um, and then this is like the key the value key value and it's separated by a comma it might look a little confusing but I guess you'll have to play with it so how do we type this out um, it's a little tricky because if you don't get it right in here um, it's not even going to show up at all so what we want to do first is we're playing with the data uh, JSON object which is this above so for data we want to let's just say if we want to write um, test content um, we would say these little brackets and I'll do zero and I'll do dot and what do I want uh, content uh, try to remember that this is getting the MySQLi number rows and the associative array if you return it as only an associative array it might be easier to read okay so I'll go back to this page there we go um, test content okay um, you could say what or let me add this data zero dot um, title and okay and then we have the Jesse and test content and that's right here uh, right when the page loads okay um, this tutorial is actually taking a little longer to explain than I thought so I'm gonna I think I might stop in just a second um, hopefully that gives you a good idea alright thanks for watching